Hey everybody, it's Crazy Fangirl Shime. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are continuing with episode 6 of Andor. Super excited for this, guys. Last episode was absolutely brilliant. We got some really good dialogue and really good characterization of the characters. Um, Mon Mothma, we got to see sort of like more into her life and sort of how like broken it is, especially with her relationship with her husband and her daughter. Um, we obviously knew about the husband in the in the previous episode but with this episode it was just heartbreaking I think because a lot of people were talking about it actually just that scene is just in like many translations of it like people could relate to it which is such a beautiful thing but also just sad <laughs> it also just was so good to get to know the characters that we're with because this is such a long journey this is 12 episodes of a story and it makes me so interested in slowing down before the action and actually getting to know our characters I did have a couple of people really come at me because I really like always say like I love slow paced stuff oh people came at me in the comments people came at me on Twitter and um, on on tumblr funny enough and I was just like why of all things why is this the thing that I get picked up on but apparently the story is too slow for some people there's not a lot of action apparently it's not following certain storylines for example there was a guy who literally was like but what about the storyline with the sister what's gonna happen with that literally like Cassian was being chased and now has become a wanted man what do you expect him to do like do you expect him to literally risk his life with who knowing who he is especially in with the last description we got last episode do you seriously think that like we are gonna he's gonna stop and be like oh yes I'm a wanted man I am totally gonna go and look for my sister in the middle of all this nah dude <laughs> Like, I understand where that is, and I feel like that's been put on the back burner for a very good reason. Um, and there is a theory going around about where his sister might be, which I might bring up later in the episode. Right now, Cassian has his eyes set on the money. Why would he drop everything and look for his sister? Like, I don't think that that's who Cassian is, especially in this part of the story. Like, Obviously in Rogue One, very different. Obviously at the beginning of the story as well, very different. He was in a very different place, especially because he wasn't a wanted man. Yes, he was allowed to look for his sister, but now he needs to look after himself. So I think once things die down, then we're going to be following the sister story. So don't worry to people who are worried about that. In terms of the slow pace, I mean, that's not for everyone, which is fair enough. But at the same time, it's something that I thoroughly enjoy. I I've said this before. It's basically because I've been reading so many books with slow pace. Even a lot of shows that have slow pace, I enjoy it so much more because you get to savor the character development and the story. And then when there are things like conflict, big action sequences and fights, there's a lot more meaning to it because there's a lot of more like emotional build up. That's that's why I love it. <laughs> but anyway, we were left at the very end of last episode getting ready for the um, big um, sort of like setup. So we are literally at the precipice of what's going to happen next, which means that they're going to sneak in and try and get this vehicle and all the cargo stuff that they're looking for. So hopefully it goes well. So let's just jump straight into this because I'm very, very excited. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. We must use to our best advantage. The Empire has no moral boundaries, but we can take hold of every chance we can. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so good. Do I look thankful to you? Exactly. Sit down, boy. I get you're upset, but no. <laughs> we spent the last decade promoting an imperial viewing festival down in the Enterprise Zone. So they love that. It is the sacred valley, is it not? Well, ultimately, they will return when they come. When you need plenty of arms and legs to build all you've got planned. This you reminds me very old. much of history. So, seven years. A celestial spectacle. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. I think we agree with the expressions, me and him. <laughs> you stole your Whoa! You've been here with Sinta found out. They stole her whole family. <gasps> oh no! Poor Sinta. That's probably why she's so tough. 
Ooh, that's such a good shot. Oh, so cool. It's like a heist. I love it. Hmm. What's she doing? Is she really that scared? Girl! <sighs> Damn, girl! Jesus! Oh! Sintra! They're cute. <laughs> if they are together. Otherwise, cute friends. Oh, so good. Oh, no. God, their plane is not foolproof. Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, hurry up. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Good, because it's just, it's always just like symbolism that things are starting to go wrong or like darkness is seeping in. Like, ah, it's so good. Whoa. <gasps> wow. That's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, he's having a heart attack. Oh! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, here we go. Shut the door. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, you can't. Oh, no. He's... No, Cassian! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please. I can't remember his name, but kill him! Oh my god, he got him. Holy shit! Good. Whoa! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god, that's beautiful, but holy crap. Oh shit. What, dude? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Come on, Cassian, just do it! Oh my god, holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Holy. Yeah, those things won't survive, they're so thin! And small. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. I would probably be crying too if I saw that in real life. Where are we heading? She wants to Shit. kill him. He's dying. You don't know that. Don't bail on him. That we are here. That's true. Save him. Bye. Yes. Cassian, please. Please, Cassian. Thank you, oh my god. The one time. This bitch, I swear. I can't stand her sometimes. Oh, poor thing. Don't do it. I feel like Cassian's like sick to his stomach right now. Really? Yeah. It's the same mindset Cassian has to an extent. Oh, you fuck! Absolute fuck! Oh! <laughs> Cassian! Cassian! No! 
he would. Oh my god, Cassie looks so good in this light, my god, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ! Okay. I yeah, we need to pause for a freaking second because that was a a heist and a half. My god, I won't lie. I did get a little bit pissy towards the end of that heist because I got really pissed because I was like, if they just killed two of the black characters in this like heist and like, you know, that's my thing. Like I hate it when they do that just for like shock value. It's like Holy fuck! But then, no. It's a rebellion, so it's fine. And also the other guys died. In a way, it balances it out! <laughs> but, anyway. That was freaking good. Whoever the director is for this episode, the freaking pace. Fantastic. This is the fast pace that people wanted. This is what happens when you get action. But this was fantastic. So good. Back to the story, though. That g scheme? Oh my god, I want to punch him in his face. I, I would have done- I don't- I won't lie, I probably would have done the same thing Cassian did. But, and out of shock, because even he was shocked that he did it. Um, because what a douchebag! Like, he's worse than Cassian. Like, I think it's the same thing as, like, him and Scheme and Cassian are cut from the same cloth, but I feel like he's worse than Cassian in a way. Like, I don't know, there's something weird about him. And then poor, um, what's his name? Nimic? Poor baby. And then that girl, Vel, um... I don't know, I have mixed feelings about her, but I love this, like, again, it's not all black and white, it's like grey, and this is, this is what humans are like, and that's what I love, this is so fantastic. Anyway, let's jump back into it. Big rebel attack last night, so you. What? Susanna White, again, fantastic girl. And Dan Gilroy, amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those episode, that episode was so good. Oh wait, is there anything at the credits? No, nothing, okay. Holy shit, guys, what the frick was that? Oh my god, so good. Absolutely loved that, it was just absolutely amazing. It was such a great episode. The pacing was fantastic, especially because we were building up to this moment. Now, I feel like this is sort of like what happened with the first three episodes. I feel like we had these episodes to build up. It feels very much like Clone Wars episodes where you have like two or three episodes to build up and then boom, as something happens, it fades into the next part of the story, which is so beautiful and something I love about storytelling, um, especially with Clone Wars and anything to do with Star Wars, like that sort of like build up. And I love the the sort of like the um what's the thing the formula that they're going with it's so good again this is part of the rebellion this is the beginning of the rebellion so it's messy I love that about it and it's just it's going to build up I think into something more like this is Cassian's first taste of it and I think eventually he's going to find his own purpose into being in the rebellion like he's going to realize that change does need to happen because you can't keep living like this because look at the way that he's running off and you know even just doing this job i feel like right after this it's going to be a big wake-up call especially because now he has that manifesto he's going to read it and there's going to be i feel like there's going to be something really motivating in that which i'm excited about again going back to that gang but like holy crap dude like all of them and also yeah the tamarin story so good i love that he was a stormtrooper really good um and it just shows that there's so many people who were put as stormtroopers and then realize you know that's never again shouldn't be doing that and then you have the opposite which is people like scheme and um not nimic nimic is also on the sort of side of tamarin and stuff but like you see someone like scheme and even cassie and, like those are the two polar opposites with these two different men like you have ski um nimic and tamarin on one side then you have scheme and um cassian and they're both two completely different sides of men in this sort of heist and i love that dynamic it's so beautiful and just shows like like, the humanity in it all. Like, how many people have different choices. Like, yes, people want the greater good. But when it comes to surviving, they're going to put themselves first either way. Or the people that they love, which is, you know, it's a dangerous game. And I love how, again, we saw the reaction of everybody at the end. Because this is, this is big. This is like... Uh, this is an episode six. Yeah, this is episode six. We're at the halfway point now. So, this is big. And the next episode, I feel, is going to be even bigger. 
Holy, so thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on episode 6 of Andor the Eye. Holy sh- guys, <laughs> it's so good. I love how they broke up everything in the heist. They keep going back to it because it's so good, but I love how we kept going to the Darnies, then we went to all the Imperials, like, wondering what the hell was going on, what's stopping them from, like, listening in and what, seeing what was happening, and then, obviously, finally, that big fight at the end and then oh my god again as well the eye the whole thing with the stars oh my god that was stunning and so beautiful i will just say there has been a conversation lately about sort of like the fact that andor got such a big budget compared to some other shows and how much like it shows like how much love and care that goes into a project can really affect it like and a lot of people are comparing it to kenobi i'm not gonna say like anything bad about Kenobi because it was great for what it was but if they had just a little bit bigger of a budget like this show could have been a little bit better because <laughs> I mean the set pieces and everything could have been 10 times more magnificent look it literally felt like we were watching a movie then it was just like fantastic they did a wonderful job with this episode but anyway I'm gonna stop here because otherwise I'm gonna be rambling forever <laughs> so again thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video crazy finger out Woo!